Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Evil Dead remake. And I'm going to try and keep it as spoiler free as possible. Uh, there will be some minor plot spoilers coming up in the review, but I will indicate those before I go into them. But again, they will be minor uh, in nature. <clears throat> But the hype machine that was the Evil Dead 2013 has finally been unleashed upon the public. And I know myself and so many other horror fans were just seething to uh, finally see this movie. And the trailers looked great. The fact that they were using old school, uh, traditional physical effects instead of CGI <clears throat> just really sort of put it over the top. It was just another feather in its cap that made fans just really want to go see it. And does the movie live up to the hype? Um, I have to say, yes, I do believe that it does. Uh, the storyline, pretty uh, familiar, um, aside from just the group, uh, as we saw in the original Evil Dead, going to the cabin in the woods to just have fun, and so on and so forth. Uh, with the Evil Dead remake, they're going to the cabin in the woods because one of their... Um, one of their friends is, is, is a drug addict, and they're trying to do this sort of hardcore... Um, intervention on her and literally keep her you know cloistered within the house and um, let her go through her detox and so on and so forth um, eventually one of the members of the group discover the Necronomicon and um, just you know because why not I'll just read it aloud and uh, of course all hell literally breaks, breaks loose and um, we are treated to pretty much a bloodbath and um, that is I think exactly what a lot of fans were looking forward to what they wanted and if that is what you wanted from the Evil Dead 2013 then your your bloodlust should be fully satiated um, the effects in the movie the gore effects are just awesome there's just so much blood um i watched it with my girlfriend and there were so many instances not just with her but with the people around us where just ugh, ugh, ugh. um so many great effects i won't go into the list of them um but so many great just bloody um you know over the top kind of some some more over the top than others um great effects great effects super bloody super bloody um movie's fast paced literally from the word go I mean we are just launched into the movie there's a really cool pre-credit sequence that really sets the stage and gets the the movie off on the right uh, on the right note um, it's very intense the movie looks great um, th there's there's this dark foreboding dread filled aura around the movie that is great um, as I said it, it, there's some very intense sequences in the movie um, the, the, the demons themselves, um, they look really cool. Um, it's just a really, really fun, intense, ultra bloody, gory movie. And that is exactly what we wanted from this movie. And it delivers in spades. Um, around, toward the end of the movie, something happens. And I'll, I'll build up to it right here. And this is where the minor spoiler is. Um, again, very minor. Uh, but if you recall in the original Evil Dead, there's basically one way to dispatch the Deadites. You have to dismember them. Well, in the Evil Dead 2013, they've devised three ways that you can dispatch a Deadite. One, of course, bodily dismemberment, which nobody ever does in this movie. Uh, number two, fire. And number three, uh, you can bury them alive. And by bury them alive, I mean dig a shallow grave, push them in it, cover them with the topsoil, wait a second, pull them out, and hallelujah, they are demon-free. Um, they're back to normal. They're better than, than, than normal. Um, whatever mutilation that they inflicted upon themselves, no matter how severe, gone. Um, yeah, bury them alive, literally. Put them in the soil. One second, dig them up, and they're fine. Um, when this first happens in the movie, I waited and waited and waited. There has to be, you know, it'll backfire. It has to backfire. Can't be that easy. It cannot be that easy. Then there's the realization very soon thereafter that, um, yeah, they intended it to be just that easy. And um, I wanted to just kind of yell, cheap, that's so cheap. That was way too easy, and that was way too cheap. And it happened 
right at a very pivotal part of the movie and it totally took me out of the movie totally took me out of the movie and I'd say about the last 10 minutes of the movie is an absolute bloodbath literally an absolute bloodbath and it kind of soured that final 10 minutes of the movie for me now this the, the whole bury alive thing I mentioned before about the, the cool opening. The buried alive thing for me also kind of ruined the cool opening because well if it's if it's that easy to exercise these demons from somebody, these this these very powerful demons, this very powerful demon that, that, that the Necronomicon talks about, you know, why is it so easy to exercise them, to exercise the demon from them once they're possessed? Um, that part really, really bothered me. It still bothers me. And that's why I wanted to actually sleep on it. I wanted to watch the movie. And initially I wanted to come home and, and, and just, you know, pound out a review and put it up and talk about the movie. But I wanted to sleep on it and, and, and really let that part sink in. Because that definitely takes points away from the movie in my book. Definitely takes points away from the movie in my book. Um... Is it a movie that you should go see? Absolutely, I think so. If you're a horror fan, you definitely need to go see Evil Dead 2013. It's not, a, it's not, you, like every other remake, you can't really compare it to, to the original. It's a vastly different movie. Yeah, it's people in a cabin in the woods with the Necronomicon and they read the, the, you know, the incantation and demons come and possess them and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, and also I think it says something about the fact that, you know, the original Evil Dead, yeah, it was gory, super gory, super bloody. Um, it also had a really fun element to it. It had a lighthearted sort of aspect to it. It had a slapsticky aspect to it. You know, the Evil Dead 2013, all that is drained out of it. It is just hardcore, super bloody, super gory, just super, you know, like I said, the the... The, the atmosphere is very, very, you know, ominous and dreadfilled, and, and um, you know, I, I like that about it. But I have to admit that I did miss, you know, there is no character in the movie that you're even going to remotely care about as much as Ash from the original. And they really didn't try and make an Ash prototype for Evil Dead 2013. And I appreciate that, but they could have made, you know, there's really... You know, for me, there was really just one character that I even really liked. And he really wasn't the likable character in the movie. I think I liked him because he really, he wasn't the likable character in the movie. He was sort of, he was sort of the the realist. He's the one that was saying, you know, this is, this is not good. This is, <laughs> you know, this is, just keeps getting worse and worse by the second. Um, I think it says something about how, you know, if you, horror movies today... They think if you're going to make a horror movie today, it just has to be non-stop horror. Uh, we can't let you take a break. We can't let you take a breath. We can't, you know, we can't intersperse these sort of human-y moments that, that ground the characters and make them human. I mean, just in the original Evil Dead where, you know, Ash gives his girlfriend the, 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 key, the, the little necklace. It's a really nice moment. It's brief. It's charactery, but it makes you like Ash. Now they try and they try and emulate that in Evil Dead 2013, and it really, you know, it, it it's a nice moment, but it doesn't really resonate. And when you see there, there's a very similar lock or uh, necklace in, in Evil Dead 2013 as it was in the original. And when you see it again, the way that Ash saw it in the original, it doesn't have the same kind of power. Um, but I mean, that's, I mean, I, I know I'm, I'm being real nitpicky here, but I think, you know, it, it's something, it, it's something to, to think about the fact that, you know, if you're doing horror today, they just think it's got to be horror, nonstop, 100% horror, blood, 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 you know, <clears throat> and let's just hurry up and get to the end. Um, but yeah, and, and and there's there's some nods in the movie to the original Evil Dead, and there's a there's one or two sort of slapsticky kind of moments in it. I wouldn't even say slapsticky. I mean, there's a moment where you know one of the characters <clears throat> grabs a chainsaw, and it's very reminiscent of really more of Evil Dead Two or even of of Army of Darkness than the original Evil Dead. 
Um, but <clears throat> I'm being nitpicky at this point. Um, but I will say that you know that the the, the bury them alive um, exorcism <laughs> to me um, was cheap. Uh, was way too easy and it really took me out of the movie and it takes points away from the movie in my book because you, you, you get that moment and then they at a very pivotal point in the movie and I just felt like they went the really cheap route there went up to that point they had really I mean I had a grin on my face pretty much the whole movie I mean the, the ghastlier and the gorier and the bloodier it got I mean my, my grin just grew and grew and grew and then the whole bury you alive thing happened and I was like oh god and um yeah still i mean i would I, I highly recommend the movie if you're a horror fan you absolutely need to go watch it um it's a lot of fun um but definitely i think that sort of detracts some points from it still i mean on a scale of one to ten i'd probably give it a, a pretty solid seven um but yeah um and, and i'm sure some of you have heard about the after credit sequence there's a sequence that that happens at the end of the, the, the credits. Um, I won't spoil that for you, but I kind of, I waited around and waited around and waited around for it. And uh, when I saw it, I was like, okay. I don't think I really needed to wait for that, but hey, why not? Uh, and again, I mean, the sad thing is uh, most people, most kids, I think who went, and, who went to see Evil Dead, nobody was waiting around after the movie, except for me and my girlfriend and the two friends that we were with. Or I think if anybody did, They'd probably be like, who is that? <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> but I mean, like, that was a nice little nod to, you know, the fans like me who, who you know. Anyway, uh, Evil Dead 2013, I highly recommend it. Thought it was a whole lot of fun. Um, that one, the, the very live thing still, I mean, it sticks with me. It, it, it still kind of irks me. It kind of pisses me off. But anyway, minor grumble. Um... Still, highly recommend the movie. Think you guys should all go out and watch it. Evil Dead 2013. Go see it. And until next time, you guys take it easy. Peace.